welcome to Monday's outfit. To start off the week, I kind of went with this trendy mad scientist look, but I'm kind of into it. So first off, I'm wearing these glasses, which are actually bought from Amazon, and they're like glasses to protect your eyes from blue light when you look at the computer. But I thought the clear lenses looked really good with the outfit. You've probably seen this graphic long sleeve before, but it's from Zara, and I paired it with my white denim midi skirt from Uniqlo. I thought the whole monochrome white on white was cool, and that the print broke it up. And then for shoes, I went with something casual, but a little bit cool. These are my platform Converse. As a whole, this outfit is pretty street style inspired and a little bit trendy. And yeah, I just really love the look. It's super casual and fun, as you can tell by my dance. Now onto Tuesday's outfit. This one's a little bit more formal and is probably something I will wear to my internship or something like that. So to start off, I'm wearing this top from Topshop, RIP actual Topshop shops. But this is a black and white gingham blouse and you know me, I love gingham. I just love the mock neck of this shirt, the ruffles on the sleeves and the balloon shape of the sleeves as well. It gives us this nice vintage vibe. And my pants are from a thrift shop called Awoke Vintage. They really come through with snatching the waist and I just love the belt detail on it and the peg shape of the pants they're just perfect for a petite person like me and then to take it down a notch I wore my platform converse again so it's Wednesday aka hump day <laughs> let me know if you know that vine please this outfit is giving me total the notebook vibes even though I've never seen the movie but this dress is thrifted from Beacon's closet and I just love the cream colors and the pastel floral pattern on it they just really make a soft uh, pattern that's great for summer. I also really love the collar. There's something that adds a little bit more of a vintage touch to it And the dress also cinches the waist with the tie in the back and the V cut by the waistline Then to accessorize I wore these cream floral earrings that I felt matched perfectly with the look and a light blue scrunchie To add to the old-school vibe I wore my loafers from Doc Martens and I love the tassel on the front and yeah, they're super cute, but hurt like hell. For Thursday, I went with a bit of a denim and gingham look. So the shirt is from a clothing store in Flushing. I totally forgot the name of it, but I just really loved the gingham print and the um, square neckline and the three dainty little bows in the back. Fun fact, me and my friends actually fought over this <laughs> in the store. Um, but yeah. I ended up buying it. And then for the dress, you've probably seen this before. It's a denim dress from Urban, and I just really love the silhouette and the asymmetrical hem. And then I went casual with my Nike Air Force Ones. Woohoo, it's Friday, the best day of the week. So for this day, I went a little bit casual, a little bit of a blue mood. This t-shirt is from Muji and the pinstripes gave me kind of like a baseball shirt vibe. And it's also a little bit more fancier because it has two textures on the shirt. I'm not exactly sure of the material, but it feels like a raincoat-like texture as opposed to the rib neckline. And then to layer, I have this tank top from And Other Stories. It's super dainty with the two bows on the side and the rosebud on the front, very 90s. And then I went with my trustworthy Muji wide-legged jeans and and my Nike Air Force Ones. And that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that some of the clips were blurry. I just realized that when editing, my eyesight is so bad so I can't tell when filming. But looking past that, um, I just wanted to say thanks again for watching. Lately, I've been gaining so many subscribers and I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. I will continue to work hard on my videos and give you guys good content. Um, but with that, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.